Well, it's only a week until the Sydney Festival kicks off and this year's event promises the best in opera, music, dance and much more. For more on Sydney's annual extravaganza, I'm joined by the festival director, Levin Bertels, and here is Tim Derricourt. He's the lead singer of the band Dappled Cities, one of the featured acts at the festival. Levin Bertels, I'll start with you. Now, this is your first festival as director. You know the other festival directors. Uh, what makes this year different? I think what's different is that we can bring together some of the elements that all of the uh, different festival directors have tried and tested over the last couple of years. One of the things I'm really excited about is that we are bringing back opera to the festival and not just any opera, we're actually bringing opera to Town Hall, which is this great venue we're testing out again this year, with a fashion show turned into an opera or an opera turned into a fashion show with designs by Vivian Westwood. That sounds really interesting. What are the acoustics like in the town hall for something like opera? They're actually very good. It's a great space. It's this historic, beautiful building. And it's not just good for organ music. There is this lovely organ, but it's also good for all, all kinds of things. So we're using it for the opera first, and then we're going to use it for Paradiso, which is our new rock venue. And what are some of the other highlights of the festival? Well, certainly other highlights include bringing the biggest rubber duck to Sydney, a giant rubber duck that will <laughs> that float in That was actually something Harbor. I was going to talk to you about. <laughs> I really look forward to that, and that's going to open the festival. It's one of the elements of day one, the exciting opening uh, celebration we have on Saturday the 5th as the start of the festival. Other highlights for me personally are International Theatre with Era Ritja Ritjaka, a play with a very difficult title, but a wonderful play by German theatre director Heine Goebbels. Um, um, as well as music, circus, and of course Parramatta, because we're back in Western Sydney as well, with exciting circus from Sir Columbia, Colombian circus group that brings a show called Urban. Now, uh, let's bring Tim Derricourt into the conversation. You're the lead singer of the band Dappled Cities. Yeah. You must be very pleased to be a part of the festival. It's uh, pretty exciting. It's our first time ever, so uh, and we get to try out something completely off the, uh, off the hook, so it's going to be a pretty exciting time. Well, tell us yeah. a little bit about what you're planning on doing. Uh, so we are playing in uh, the town hall and we are playing with uh, Baroque players, Baroque musicians and playing our own music but uh, sort of intermingled and collaborating with Baroque musicians. And where did that idea come from? I, I understand I was reading about this that you thought it would be cool and hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think all good ideas probably come from a bit of insanity and uh, hopefully this is a good idea and it came from us just thinking what's the craziest kind of thing we can do. And, you know, we sort of see ourselves as quite a sort of futuristic band, synths and that kind of thing. And what better than to combine that with uh, the oldest Western sort of music? And Lee, what, what attracted you to Dappled Cities? Well, one of the things, of course, is that we want to bring a mix of local bands and local uh, productions with international. And of course, Dappled Cities in the 10th anniversary year is a great band to have around. Uh, for me personally, it's nice living on the North Shore to bring a band from originally from the North Shore. Um, and I think actually that crossover says a lot about what we want to do with the festival as well. It's not just showing all these different elements and trying to pigeonhole them, but mixing it up and, and bringing something that involves Baroque music as well as this whole young band. And uh, Tim, how do you think your fans are going to react? Oh look, uh, it's going to be pretty out there. <laughs> uh, we're taking Baroque instruments and looping them and doing all sorts of sonic experiments. So it's not just, you know, Baroque music with dappled cities. It's going to be this very sort of strange collaboration. Even we don't really know how far it's going to go. Do you think it could be something that you would actually keep doing in the future if it turns out to be this really yeah. unique experience? Well, the thing about the festival is that it offers you an opportunity to do a one-off special event, you know. And so you do that event and it's the, the one time, I think, that people will ever really get to see it. If it, if it, if it works, who knows, you know, we'll get, but uh, at this point, yeah, it's this really one-off special time. Now, Levin, you're from Flanders, Belgium, which um, is the home of the famous Spiegel tent, I understand. What's planned for the Spiegel tent? I love the Spiegel tent. It's like going into the TARDIS. It is it's wonderful, amazing. isn't what, it? What, yeah. What, what is, um, what's planned for the Spiegel tent this year? Well, we've got two Spiegel tents in the festival. One is in Parramatta and the other one is in Hyde Park. And in Hyde Park, we've got two cabaret um, or comedy house shows. One is Cantina, which unfortunately is sort of sold out. But the other one, where still some tickets available, is Inside, the new show with um, Frank Woodley and Simon. And Yates, about two inmates that try to escape and make all these unlikely plans for escape. I saw that. It looks fascinating. It yeah. is going to be really exciting, and they're testing it right now, and that's going to be a world premiere, so that's really going to be someone uh, something to look forward to. And you've worked a lot overseas in Europe in particular. How different is it working in Europe compared to in Australia? I think it's very different. I think um, this country has a great festival tradition, and one of the things that attracted me to the Sydney Festival is that you have this opportunity to really... Uh, 
program a really broad array of, of things from very entertaining stuff, including the rubber duck, to really specialized theater and, you know, all blended together and, and bring this really wonderful summer experience. Now, I understand, we've, we've spoken about the rubber duck and I absolutely love that idea. Unfortunately, I'm going to be overseas and miss that. I'm very sad about that. But, um, and I would imagine that families would love that. What other things are around for kids as well? We've got a number of things. If you have teenagers, the show I mentioned earlier, Urban um, by Sir Columbia is a great show, which is hot Latin circus with live hip hop music. That's at Riverside in Parramatta. Um, the other show, of course, is the new show by the Listies called Earworms for slightly younger kids in the Spiegel Tent. Um, so it's a great way to take your kids on a Sunday afternoon or in a weekend to see the list operators doing this thing which is a live radio drama with your kids and of course there's always some humor in there for the parents as well um, which might just go above the heads of the kids but it's a great way of engaging the whole family and then there's all the free stuff we are very proud that all of the concerts we do at the domain the free concerts are very family friendly as well as day one the whole opening celebration that will start in the morning in Hyde Park with fun run crazy guy running a whole marathon on a treadmill then in the afternoon we have the official welcome of the rubber duck with a big arrival party staged by Patrick Nolan of uh, Lex on the Wall and then in the evening we've got a great uh, lineup at the domain for a wonderful soul concert with the Daptons Super Soul Review where you can dance the night away and that's the official official opening of the festival. That's fantastic. I, I must say I'm looking forward to the Symphony of the Domain, the Kubrick stuff. Uh, Tim, you're performing in the festival, but what are you mm. looking forward in, to seeing? I'm pretty excited about this duck. I kind of feel <laughs> like we can uh, maybe requisition this duck and put it into our own show. I don't know if it'll fit. But <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a tight fit. <laughs> no, it'll be very exciting. No, I've loved the festival every year. I mean, we've been here. I think I've been to something at least once for the past few times mm. so yeah this is going to be a really great year but yeah. I mean obviously we're going to be the best thing <laughs> but, obviously um, obviously Tim, be of course <laughs> uh, leave it I, I want to actually talk to you about a, a, a couple of serious things though how are sales actually going with the festival sales are going well um, in general we see that sales are um, tracking more steadily but slowly in across the industry which is not a new trend people now have so many opportunities to buy tickets uh, in, in different ways as well so it's an interesting mix of people actually using your call center and using online which is a great way of booking tickets mm -hmm. um, and increasingly so more than half of our audience actually engages with us through our website and through the apps we've got two wonderful apps that you can download for your iPads and iPhones and um, mm -hmm. smartphones and and that's a great way to actually find your shows that you like and then go on and book are, are you concerned though that there may be a little bit too much competition in the festival space with things like events like uh, summer at the house you know corresponding at periods I think in general um, we're all of course obviously fishing in the same pond but in general it's quite good to have a healthy competition the landscape still grows um, there might be a point where we have to sit together with all of the big players and look at what's actually on offer um, I think we're still venturing into new territory as well um, if I look at the sales and Parramatta and how the festival has really managed through uh, the work of my predecessor Lindy Hume um, to if you want embrace Parramatta and Greater Sydney in a very clever way and show that the festival is really about everybody in Sydney in every part of Sydney um, I think that's a great way forward as well.